Hello, Kiana here with PMP Crafters, and today we are going to be doing something that is requested as well as pretty popular right now. We are going to be making the triangle treat favors, pyramid treat favors, whatever you want to call them. They kind of set up like a little cube of some sort, triangular cube of some sort. It's more of a 3D um, party favor. So we're going to work with this in Photoshop. And if you guys want to see it in any other type of program, definitely leave a comment down below on which one you would like to see this done in. So let's go ahead and get started. We are here at our homepage on Photoshop and we're going to click on new file. Once it pulls up, our measurements that we are going to do is um, make sure that it's in inches, of course. We want it to be eight inches wide and about 4.5 inches in height. And then we're gonna click Create. Now that we have our template here, this is our base template. And we want to go ahead and to make this that 3D kind of a triangular shape, we are going to need to get our shapes. So of course, we're going to choose this triangular tool. Now for this triangle tool, I am going to roughly just create my triangle. Okay, so now that I've roughly created a triangle, we are going to tweak this just a little bit. So of course, what I'm going to do first is find my center. I'm gonna change the color of my triangle because my guide, my little markers are the same color as my triangle at the moment. Okay, so as you can see, I have it in the center. And now I want to make sure that I make it wider because we want our widest point to be the center of our design, as well as I also want to flip this triangle. I think I want to flip it. Um, it's completely up to you if you want the bigger end of your triangle to be at the top, or if you want the bigger end of your design triangle to be at the bottom. Um, let's see, I think I am going to definitely put it at, I mean, I'm gonna keep it at the bottom, but I am gonna go ahead and extend my triangle to where I do not see the tip, as well as making my triangle a bit wider here. There we go. Now that we have that, I am going to duplicate this triangle. Five. And then I'm going to take half of that triangle and put it on one side of my paper here. And then I'm going to du duplicate the triangle again. And if you're not sure on what what we're pressing, I do have a, a tutorial that goes into depth on how to do things in Photoshop using a PC as well as a Mac. So that way you have what, what I'm pressing. I'm not really going through that. I just wanna make sure that we have the design here. Okay, so here we go. We have our center design. We have our two side pieces. And once we created those two side pieces, we also now have these two as well. Now I can leave it like that because of course I can design my background image, but if you want every single triangular area to be a different color, then all we have to do is um, create another triangle here and we'll just flip it. Okay, and I'm also gonna change the color of it so that way we can 
you can definitely see the difference here. And all I'm going to do is fit it into, into this section. So to do so, I am going to have to, of course, make it bigger. then I will duplicate that triangle and put it on this side. All right, now our layers are now kind of in a different orders. I wanna make sure that my main triangle for my center is at the top of all of my layers. Then, then we can then put the, um, the other sides and then making sure that the back pieces are at the very bottom. All right, now that we have our template here, we can leave it like this, or we can make sure that we create a top and bottom banner. I think it looks really, really nice when you add a little banner at the, a little banner strip at the top and the bottom. So I'm simply gonna go back into my shape area uh, before I do so, oh, cancel. Before I do so, I wanna make sure that I'm at the top here, but I'm gonna go back into my, shape area and I'm going to just create a small one here. I'm just going to run it across and then I don't want it to be too thick. So my height is going to be pretty small. Maybe a 25 there. Okay. I'm going to make this a different color so that way you can see all of the different pieces. Okay, once I have that, I'm just going to then duplicate it and bring it down to the bottom. So now we have our, our center and then our sides and then our back pieces as well as the top and the bottom of this. Now that we have our template together, you can rename each triangle if you would like to do so. You can do that by simply putting top, side, bottom, you know, putting all of those things in there. And then of course you want to go to file, save as to save your new template. Now that we have it all saved, it is time to go ahead and create a wonderful design. Now, this treat bag can fit numerous things. A lot of people have been putting the Oreos inside, but you can put fruit snacks inside of here. You can put different, like, um, make it kind of like little mini pinata type things and put just a bunch of different candies in here. So, you know, sky's the limit when it comes to this, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a quick design and then we're going to print.
that we are complete with our design, it is now time to set it up for printing. So the first thing I want to do is, of course, if you're gonna use this design multiple times, then go ahead and do a file save as and rename this design based on what you are creating. And then you're going to go to merge layers Okay, now that we have everything merged down, we are going to go to File, New, and we're going to choose the 8.5 and 8 by 11 paper. Click Create, and we're simply going to drag and drop this right over to our paper size here, and we're going to center it. And there should be enough space for you to do two per sheet. I always like to, of course, make sure that, it, that they're lined up. And then we're going to leave a little bit of space in between each one. Once we have this on our paper, we can then print. So we'll go to file and print. Now it's time to assemble. I have them already cut out and I'm simply gonna use my paper crimper to crimp each end. Once I have them crimped the way I like them, then I am simply going to fold it over to make sure that the backs meet and put a little crease in it. Then I'm using my hot glue gun and add a little bit of glue right down the center, press firmly, and then I'm going to close up the bottom of it with the hot glue as well. Now that I have that done, I'm gonna put my treat inside and then I am going to fold in the opposite direction, add a little bit of glue and press firmly to make sure that it is closed. Now, I can now add my personal touches by using my zigzag scissors or you can leave it just how it is. I'm gonna do this one with the zigzag scissors and then I'll show you on the next one, what it looks like without the zigzag scissors. So in this one, I am gonna put the two pack Oreos inside and I am gonna seal it up the same exact way that I did with the other one. And as you can see, they are both very, very nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember that all of the items that I use are listed down below in the description and happy crafting.